Welcome to the House of Mary. We named this website in honor of the house that St. John built for Jesus' mother near Ephesus. From the seven letters in the book of Revelation and strong tradition, we know that after Paul preached the gospel in Ephesus and disrupted the veneration of the goddess Diana, John became bishop of this metropolis and he regularly visited a circuit of seven cities in his diocese. Tradition says that Our Lady lived outside the city with a cluster of Jewish Christians who left Israel when Herod had the Apostle James beheaded. Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich saw this place in vision and described the ruins so precisely that the spot was discovered and rebuilt in the 1890s as a small shrine for pilgrims. The local Muslims guard this house as sacred. Our Lady has rewarded their piety with many cures. Imagine the 12 doors on our home page as the Queen's Great Entrance Hall. The purpose of this website is to offer a virtual library to promote the study of the Mother of God and the Gospel of her Son, that both may be honored and their messages heeded. The doors open into a variety of categories. The website will also serve as the home base of Mary's new worldwide religious order, which she prophesied at La Salette. OMD stands for Ordo Matris Dei, the Order of the Mother of God. Mary herself dictated the rule during the apparition in 1846. Melanie told the Pope that it would be for a future time. That time is now. The House of Mary website is open to everyone with many free downloads for our visitors. There is no need to log in. A sister website called Theotoken Town is rolling out this summer of 2020. It will act as a forum for discussion about Mary's messages, the order, and many other topics. This forum will require a login and password. Theotokin comes from the Greek word for Mary's unique status as God-bearer, the Theotokos. To easily navigate this unusually large House of Mary website, imagine it as a great house because Mary is a great queen. It's a place with many wings and corridors. No matter which doors you open and how far you wander, you can always return to the entrance instantly simply by clicking Home in the top menu bar. On a small screen, like a phone, you might need to click and expand the triple bar icon in the upper corner to see the word Home. The doors are well marked. Just keep reading the signs. Mary doesn't want you to get lost. Each of the 12 main doors opens up into four wings. 48 wings all together, a great mansion indeed. The wing buttons have double doors and feature some of the beautiful public domain artwork of the American Dominican sister Mary Jean Dorsey. A thick white border indicates a button that is not yet clickable until we move in some furniture, that is, links to videos, audios, or documents. Most of the wing buttons open up into several corridors. Corridors represent subcategories. Each corridor opens up into rooms. Some corridors have many rooms. Some corridors lead to a few rooms, but the rooms can multiply later on in any given corridor. In this example, we show you that clicking on a wing button opens up into four corridors. And if you click the members corridor, then down below you open up into four generic rooms for priests, brothers, sisters, and lay members of this order, whatever concerns that topic. Finally, when you open the door of a room, you'll see something like this. This room provides the transcript of my talk on the apparition to St. Catherine Labore, as well as direct links to the audio and video of that talk, which you may download for free and share with your friends. Some rooms will feature an extra button called More. When you punch More, you'll open a new door or a new window on your computer. 
Like any library, we intend for this website to keep acquiring more and more items to share with our visitors. For example, you had listened to the talk on Rudebach, and then you punched more, and here you see some links you can click that will open up to some other video on YouTube that might be related and, and have more information on this apparition or more pictures. And here is, some people will donate their doctoral dissertations on a theme relevant to this or that apparition or mariological topic and offer those to the world for free in a PDF. And we might have a link to some podcast if some friend who listens to Catholic Radio tells us about a talk on this apparition, then we will post it here. Help Wanted. We welcome volunteer librarians. Items are waiting to be cataloged. Oh, where does this belong? Which wing? Which corridor? Which room? Decisions, decisions. And then each categorized item waits to be uploaded. If you have a bit of experience with WordPress websites, you'll find this design unusually easy. We don't need three separate layouts for desktop view, tablet view, and phone view. The square icons just rearrange themselves and fall into place. We also welcome volunteer typists and scanners. Old books in public domain can be offered to the world for free if they are scanned and digitized. After the scanning, typists are needed to clean up the text to turn a fresh document that can be shared easily as a PDF. We also welcome translators. Melanie saw clearly envisioned that the order would have many members from every race all over the globe. Already we have requests for our YouTube videos to be translated into Polish, Spanish, and Portuguese. The transcripts are ready to be dropped into automated translation software, which does 50 to 80 percent of the work. Someone skilled in the language needs to refine the grammar. This takes time and talent. If you feel called by Mary to help her spread her messages by volunteering some of your time and talents, please click the main welcome door and then click the contact button. Regarding the order of the Mother of God, things are developing rapidly. For example, a special Marian prayer book is about to go to press so that lay members can pray together online. In the not too distant future, we hope to show you pictures of new convents opening and priests and sisters wearing the full length black and white Theotokan habit, which Melanie saw in vision. Please keep the order in your prayers. We invite you to explore this website regularly to discover new information. If you want reminders, subscribe at the contact door. Thank you, and God bless you. May Jesus and Mary be loved by all hearts.